I definitely think it's like a good idea, just in light of all accidents that have happened in the past at colleges and you know uh, concerts and whatnot. So I definitely feel like it's a good idea. I like the idea; it makes you feel safe as a student. NDSU students believe this addition to the dome is much needed. Um, I definitely think it's a good improvement to the Fargo Dome. It's better than what they had uh, before in the pat-downs or whatever they did before. Here at the Fargo Dome, walk-through metal detectors have been installed. With no official date set on the use of these metal detectors, General Manager Rob Sebolik says they could get a trial run for the Avenged Sevenfold concert on February 11th. In addition to metal detectors, employees are being trained and working on finalizing guidelines on what will be allowed inside the Fargo Dome. Before the Bison football season kicks off, or any other major events, General Manager Rob Sobolek plans to use metal detectors at smaller scale events. It's in an effort for anyone visiting the dome, artist or fan, to feel protected. Safety of, of not only the guests coming in, the, the performers, but also our employees is, is very important to us, so we, we take a lot of different measures. Seemingly the standard at many venues, Items inside of large coats and sweaters will be placed inside bins right next to the detectors. As added precaution, handheld wand detectors will also be used, along with pat-downs. Here's how it'll work. Put certain items on, on the tables right there so that you have your personal belongings there. You're going to walk through the, the walk-through detection and, and hopefully nothing's going to happen. You're going to grab your stuff and then somebody's going to be there to either scan or take your ticket and then you're into the event. But these new installations? didn't come cheap. Total cost, just over $150,000. But the cost of peace of mind, priceless. There's been a lot of tragic things that have happened around the country and the world. Uh, and we're all trying to do what we can to, to uh, prevent it. In Fargo, Joseph Ojo, Valley News Live.